In this video, I will be rebranding a local brand. So let's go out and find it. After some looking around the local area, I decided to rebrand Waterside Coffee, which is a local cafe. I really like the name as it focuses on its location and how it's next to the canal. However, I'm not feeling the typeface used and I find that the illustrations of the coffee mug is overused and not unique or memorable in the cafe industry. So in this location, there are some other cafes that could be potential competition to the Waterside Coffee. So we have Ancourt's Coffee Corp, Trove and Mule Ancourt's. In this side of Manchester, it is known for its hipsters. They are around 20 to 30 year olds and they will be the ones that we will be targeting. And the one thing that is more and more popular is vintage consumerism, as well as the obsessions with houseplants. So we need to create something that attracts our hipsters with a keen eye for the vintage feel and houseplants. So when creating the mood board, I'm looking for some sleek typography and combining it with a scoped font. Right, so let's begin with picking some typography. So here we have four serif fonts and two script fonts. So font one and two are really in your face serifs, which I'm not a big fan of. So they are both gone. However, the other fonts, I'm not too sure about which one to go with. So I decided to test them out with one another. And finally, I decided to go with this serif font and this script font on the top. And this is how they look like together. So now that we have our fonts selected, it is time to modify them. So when looking at the R, I can see that it can have some sort of modifications done to it. So I decided to add a little curve at the leg of the R. And then I decided that we can connect the R and the S together, creating this really nice wave, which is mimicking the water right next to the Waterside Cafe. So I'm a little bit torn between adding the script font or not. So what I'm gonna do now is just to move on with the illustration and see how it goes from there. So I increased the size of the picture and grabbed the pencil tool and started to go around the bridge and the canal. After everything is outlined, I said to decide where to put color or even if to put color. I knew that I wanted the water to be clear. So to represent the water, I used some lines. This is very similar to one of the examples from the mood board. And I wanted the illustrations to be in a semicircle. I also decided in the first colors being cream and maroon. Now that the primary logo is done, it is time to do the secondary logo and the logo mark. For the secondary logo, I know that I wanted to remove the illustration and really focus on the typography in a landscape. And for the logo mark, I wanted the illustration to be the focus point and I wanted to add some text around it. Finally, I have added some more colors being green and this off orange. With this brand complete, it is time to introduce you to Waterside Coffee. watching me create this brand from scratch you may also enjoy me designing this luxury flower shop brand right here